Welcome to Sumfi's video manual for Sumfi-powered rolling shutters. In this video, you will learn how to configure the Sumfi RTS CMO motors. Before we begin, remember to create a drip loop to prevent water intrusion. All wiring must conform to the local codes. Do not use motor cable to penetrate building walls. Connect the motor to power in a listed junction. If cutting the motor cord, leave at least 12 inches as the RTS antenna is embedded in that part of the cord. Connect the motor to power. Remember to power only one motor at a time. Notice the motor will not respond to any transmitter until a transmitter is assigned to communicate with the motor receiver. To begin, remove the protective cap exposing the limit setting buttons on the motor head. Press both yellow and white buttons in. To initiate programming, press the up and down buttons simultaneously. The motor jogs. Now check the direction of operation. Make sure the up button sends the shutter up. If not, reverse the direction by pressing and holding the my stop button until the motor jogs. Verify before proceeding. Next, identify the upper and lower limit switches on the motor head. Their assignment depends on the type of installation, left or right, and the side which the shutter rolls down. See the markings near the buttons for guidance. Limits can be set in any order. We'll start with the lower limit. Move the shutter down. Press My button to stop it once you've reached the desired lower limit. Next, release the corresponding button on the motor head. In this case, it is down. Repeat for the opposite limit. Press and hold the up button on the control until the desired upper limit is reached. Once you are happy with the location, press and release the upper button limit on the motor head. Replace the protective cap. To confirm the settings and program the transmitter to the motor, press and hold the programming button on the control until the motor jogs. The upper and lower limits are now set. Pressing up briefly will send the shutter to its upper limit, pressing down to its lower limit. The motor is now in user mode and ready to use. Now is the ideal time to program additional controls, sensors, or accessories. Thanks for watching. Visit us on rollershield.com for more information.